just arrived in Eastbourne for the Beachy Head Marathon. The time now is quarter past nine in the evening on Friday night. The marathon is tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. I've just got to my hotel room. I'm gonna give you a little tour. Here it is. It's pretty small, but I'm not complaining. It's just what I need. It's got a bed, it's got a toilet, and it's got a kettle. I'm not sure about the pink on the on the pillows though. Probably not my colour. There's the pier over there, the Eastbourne Pier. I actually stayed at this hotel last year. It's pretty cheap. All you need before a marathon is a good night's sleep. So as long as it's got a decent bed, it's all good. I've got to be a little quiet because I'm right next to another room. I've got everything I need laid out for tomorrow. Got my running shoes ready to go. Running shorts, running socks, running top, bandana, running bag, which I'm gonna need to put all my gels in. I haven't got many gels, I think I'm gonna have to try and buy some more. KT tape, if you don't know what it is, basically it's used to help keep your muscles from shifting around a lot and your joints and to prevent injury, so really important running watch ready to go so for all the people that don't know and there's probably a few i'm going to give you a quick guide to the beachy head marathon the beachy head marathon is one of the biggest off-road marathons in the uk and one of the hardest as well there's loads of big hills loads of stairs I'm not sure exactly how many and then towards the end of the marathon you run along the seven sisters cliffs which is probably one of the worst ways you can finish a marathon. This is the third time I'm doing it, three years in a row. Last year I did it in, I think it was four hours, 27 minutes. So I'm looking to beat that this year. Quick guide to Eastbourne, for anyone who doesn't know about Eastbourne either. It's a bit like Brighton, down by the sea, um, very quiet, but it is a great place to be. And the Beachy Head Marathon is one of the biggest events of the year. Loads of people come out. That's why I love it. Okay, I'm gonna get some sleep now. See you in the morning. It's marathon day. T minus 40 minutes until the marathon begins and I'm ready to go. Feeling good. Right, I'm gonna be putting this camera away in a minute but today I'm gonna to be using GoPro and my Samsung phone to film the marathon and uh, show you guys what it's all about. It's looking a bit cloudy today. I really hope it doesn't rain. All the runners are starting to, to come in now. I'm not sure how many people will do it. I think maybe about 2,000, maybe 1,000 to 2,000. Yeah, atmosphere's building. Everyone's getting pumped. T minus 20 minutes until we go. I'm ready, I'm ready to go. But I'm all by myself. I wish I had my friends with me. First bit is pretty tough. It's really windy. Almost halfway and about 12 miles now. Still windy.
17.5 miles, but just started going up these stairs. Oh, it's tough. About 20 miles in now, and we're just coming up to the Seven Sisters, the cliffs. It's definitely the hardest part. Take a look. So, I finished. It was a massive struggle with the last six miles or so. Um, I, I'm not I'm going to be honest, my legs were feeling really, really heavy. But agonisingly, I, I did it two minutes later than I did last year. Still a decent time and uh, I'm feeling good now, but I definitely need some food. Classic stores. Yeah, yeah. And um, they all went. <laughs>